The showpiece of Thursday afternoon is without doubt the world hurdle, gruelling three mile test over hurdles and one horse who's risen from the flames and just keeps rising all season is Thistle Crack, who's proved me wrong, winning at Newbury, then winning the long walk and then winning the cleave. He's even money, 11 to 10 favourite now. I never thought I'd hear myself say that. Um, does it deserve to be 11 to 10 favourite called? I think he does on what he's done. It's uh, an amazing performance. The last one, when he won the Cleve Hurdle, Tom Skewman was sitting on him. was like Pat Taff on Arkle. He never moved a muscle. Uh, we surprised. could have duct taped you to it and he probably would have got around that. I'm surprised he had the cheek to uh, charge a jockey's fee because, I mean, it was an absolutely superb performance. It was. And um, I think one of the joys of this season has been seeing the Colin Tizard yard, the way they've bounced back with Q card and then with this horse, and they go to Cheltenham with two arguably good chances. Uh, for, a, for a man who sort of 10 years ago only, only took out a license to throw his son could ride in a few point to points, he's really joined the big Premier Division this year. It's not too late for us, Claude. I'll ride a new trainer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> No, I, I, on I, I thought, I thought uh, <laughs> this will crack. Um, he's going to be a very short price favourite, but I can't see any of these. I know talking Warren Great Treks at the National Weights Lunch the other day, and he was making very, very spirited noises about Cool Harden, but uh, uh, the rest of them really. Um, there is more than a whisper from Seven Barrows, from that distinguished uh, former champion trainer, Nicky Henderson, that Whisper's going to bounce back and uh, do his stuff. And he's a spring horse, as mm. Captain Ryan Price used to say on his way to the jockey club to be warned off. Um, <laughs> I, th I think that uh, it's, it, it, I'd be amazed if Whisper, for what he's done this season, I think he's, he's sort of, uh, I wouldn't have thought 25 to 1 was that generous. But I know the Henderson camp, think that he could bounce back. Mm. On, on the form of entry last year. Mm. You're going to get yourself in trouble, please. Um, yeah, if you're, uh, I don't know what to say, really. Um, <laughs> this or crack, he stays, which is the key here. He seems to get better the further the race goes on. Uh, at Cheltenham last time, I, I remember thinking to myself as they came to the second last, he's in trouble here. They're all stacking up behind him. And then they just, they disappeared. He just went away from them. And he seems to travel better than ever. He seems to quicken and just go away from them and run them into the ground. He's going to be very, very hard to beat. It again comes down to price. 11 or 10 in a grade one. Uh, he'd, incidentally, he'd be odds on if he was trained by Mullins. You know, he wouldn't be odds against. So that's, that's a, um, a, a, a salvage of a something. Rarity. We've got a short price favour that isn't trained by, by Mullins. Mullins. I would say, I mean, the one I like is, is Alpha de Zobo. Um, the price has gone a bit. He's, he's now only 13 to 2. He was 20s a few months ago. This is a horse who has got form tied in with Thistlecrack. He was the horse that fell at the last at Aintree when coming to challenge um, Thistlecrack. Arguably not getting the better of that contest at the time, but we're still there arguably. or thereabouts, Argu <laughs> arguably, Luke. Um, but there is such a disparity in their prices that I would rather give Alfred Azoba, who Mouse Morris is a genius of a trading around, around Cheltenham. If you just look at the stats, I don't have them, but if you look at his stats of horses he sent to Cheltenham, in the last five, six, seven, eight years, they all they all run their races, and I think he'll have Alpha de Zobo primed to run a, a a lung burster here. And for me, each way at thirteen to two, I would rather side with him than eleven to ten. Thistlecrack. Well, I know you like your Twitter, Bill. And for the millions of people watching, <laughs> Bill, you can promise them that you'll have the Mouse Morris stats up on I'll, your Twitter I'll by I'll the have, end of the week. By the end of the festival, I'll have them. Up. <laughs> no problems. Right, Tanya, 13 to 8, Alpha de Zobo, second or third, or 11 to 10, Thistle Crack to win the race. My concern with uh, Alpha de Zobo is the way he jumps the final fence. I know we can or, easily or say <laughs> at Aintree he fell at the final fence, but if you look at subsequent starts, he has got a tendency to pitch at the final fences, certainly in the Christmas hurdle. Um, in, in Ireland he did and even in the Galmoy hurdle when he defeated Martello Tower when he comes to that last fence you, you are sort of oh, gasping heart in mouth, heart in mouth which is not ideal Star, so, he used to like to pitch yeah. at the last, he? so when you say bad. do you want to back uh, Alfa de Zobo each way I, if only you knew he'd get over the, the final hurdle I certainly wouldn't want to be on Cole Harden it's not the same Cole Harden um, that we, he's been running abysmal and he's going to try and make all and he's going to try and make all against actual stayers this year horses yeah. that really stay on strongly and be ready to pounce on him whereas he had nothing to that 
uh, last year. Um, and then you he was well beat. He was beaten in his two starts prior to the festival last year. He was well beaten at Cheltenham, wasn't he, earlier in the year? But it was really I mean, bad behind the camping ground. Yeah, yeah. Right. he didn't yeah. seem capable of winning a, yeah. a world hurdle last year, given him. Given his two yeah. results yeah. Yeah. Had a, this had a year, he had a wind up. Yeah, we had. That was the, the yeah. last year. And sure. then I don't, I don't mind the O'Petty Swan one-hit wonder raid. He did it in the Coral Cup last year. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but this is t- going up plenty levels yeah. to try and do it in one of up, the big championship up races. In class, up in trip. Up too. in class. Up in trip. And then um, recently we saw different gravy. Whether that w- we don't know where that's going to turn up. I mean, there were uh, Nicky was teasing everyone when we saw him. Uh, he could turn up in a word hurdle, different gravy, but it should be this a crack on or all honesty. Well, what we've seen on the your course. first footman, Andy Stewart. He's got Safir Duray in this race. Well, they're running out of options for <laughs> Safir Duray, aren't they? They're talking about um, all sorts of races for him. Uh, I'd love to see him win, but. Um, you're going to tell Molesley not to run it in this race, then, are you? <laughs> well, um, no, he's, he's, he has been a bit, a bit of a talking horse, hasn't he? Yeah. He's been found out more than once. Oh, he was well beat in the long walk, wasn't he? And, and he was well back for the Hennessy as well. He's well beaten. I think, I think he's one to avoid massively for me, I must admit. Um, I like Alfred Azobo. You know as well as I do that we were all over at Aintree that day when it fell. It's, been, it's done nothing wrong this season. I, I think it's still a reasonable price at 13 to 2 simply because there's not a lot in behind it. Mm-hmm. Opeti Swan hasn't had a run. Cole Harden's not the same. Safir de Ray, we know we don't want to be anywhere near that. Whisper, you certainly don't want to be anywhere near that. Snow Falcon, I don't want to thought it was good enough. Martello Tower, I don't know if it runs. So in behind the front two, there really isn't a lot in the race. Mm-hmm. And I think Martello, um, not Martello, sorry, sorry, Alfred Azobo could be a really, really nice price. Um, I've been wrong every time about Thistle Crack. I will be wrong again, and it will probably win. But for me, just quickly, decisions. I'll be with Alfred Azobo. Claude? Thistle Crack. Alfred Azobo. Thistle Crack will win, and I'll just have a saver on Opeti Swan, just because it will just come in there one hit, one day. It would annoy me if it would win. It would really, really annoy me. Well, that's yeah. two all in the world hurdle. So with whatever you're back, good luck. Come and see us at Tats or in the bottom rail at Cheltenham.